Welcome to Let's Talk Mastering Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we'll show you how to create a collection of structured domains to properly resolve a fillet. Now, the easiest way to create a structured domain for a fillet is just to grab these four connectors and create a structured domain. Okay, assemble a structured domain. However, the quality of this domain is really poor, and running it through the grid solver doesn't improve that at all. If I examine the max angle, you'll notice the max angle of this element is 175.5 degrees. Now it gets even worse if I want boundary layer control, boundary layer resolution. So if I tighten up the spacing on these two connectors and then go ahead and run this through the grid solver, first setting up the boundary attributes so I can get that spacing that I need near the wall and running it a few iterations. If I look at the max angle, you'll notice that that max angle at the boundary has basically pushed itself into the interior and I don't have great orthogonality or control of those elements in the boundary layer. Okay. So instead, what I like to do is I like to create a pole that allows me to quickly create the topology that I need to assemble these domains to resolve the fillet. So I'm going to go ahead and create this domain. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that domain and I'm going to split away the pole. Again, I'm using it only to construct the topology to resolve this fillet. Okay. So I'll grab this domain and I'm going to split it. I'll grab these two connectors and I'll redimension them and then go ahead and grab these four connectors and create a structured domain. The other thing I might like to do is increase the number of points on these connectors and tighten up the spacing near the wall so I can get that nice boundary layer resolution that I need. So we'll tighten up that spacing and to improve the smoothness, I'm going to copy that spacing and paste it. Be a nice transition between these two are these three structured domains. Now if I grab them and go to the grid solver, I'll set all of the interior grid lines to float, run it for a few iterations, and you'll notice that the quality is much better. If I look at the max angle, the max angle I have is 129 degrees at this element. It, the orthogonality is fantastic, and I have much more precise control over that boundary layer resolution. Okay, So this is the approach that we would recommend taking uh, rather than the first approach we talked about. Now, that can be automated, and in fact, if you go over to our GitHub page and download a script called fillet.glyph, you can select the connector defining the fillet, execute the script, and it'll automatically create that topology for you. So that's how you can go ahead and create a collection of structured domains resolving a fillet. Thank you, and have a pleasant Tuesday.